Good day. Welcome to Barco TV. Our topic for today is Angle Encoder for MAN BNW Engine MEC Electronic Engines. How to replace, how to put it back with almost the same positions, and then how to calibrate on the HMI MOP. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for more updates. Let's go. Let's start. By the way, angle encoder is a basically a crank angle sensor. We have two angle encoder A and B. Let's take a look and watch the video till end how Technician explained from Scantec Man BNW. If you change the encoder, what what we what we do first? What I do first, I uh, I engage the learning yeah. Then I uh, check that I'm turning in the head direction. Zero degrees TDC one, which must be set to TSA A, and the B is forty-five degrees. This is incremental encoder, angle encoder, and then the encoder there is compensator. Over here on the other side, they are made for you 
to put inside a tool so we can easily turn it. You know? So here there's a hole we can turn it. This one, that, that's a tool mark. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's a, that's a new version. Or oh, is this new feature? This hole where you can put the special tool or a simply pin so that you can turn if you adjust the angle encoder you can turn clockwise or turn counterclockwise but I don't use that one I don't trust these things uh, what I trust is that I know that I know that the, the shaft uh, is turning with, uh, like this inside you know this is how the facing at the back rotation of the shaft is clockwise. Now the shaft is good. So if I need to adjust this one right, I have to go the opposite direction. So if I turn this one like this, then suddenly the light will go on. Then I know exactly. But now I am on TVC. I'm seeing the number one. Then I will tighten it. First, sorry, first we need to do top dead center on the one. Yeah, and that's what I did before I this is a Before removing the angle encoder, first set to TDC1. Now the shaft is good. So if I need to adjust this one right, I have to go the opposite direction. So if I turn this one like this, then suddenly the light will go on. Then I know exactly. But now I am on TVC. I'm seeing the number one. Then I will tighten it. Ah. When the light goes on, a TSA A means TDC at cylinder one. Just note that one. Ah, first, sorry. First, we need to do top dead center on the one. Yeah, and that's what I did before I disassembled. You know? yeah. That's why I want to turn until the light go on here, on, on A. But then I know that no matter what happens, I will put this one back in the exact same position or less where I was. And that's what I did before I disassembled. You know? yeah. That's why I want to turn until the light go on here, on, on A. But then I know that no matter what happens, I will put this one back in the exact same position or less where I was. Right? Yeah. I do two things. Of course I will check that the, that the indicator is showing TDC1. But sometimes maybe somebody step on the pointer. So I don't know exactly what this one is. Right? So by turning the engine What you call this? The light of the TSA, if it blinks, if it blinks, it means stop dead. Cylinder one, stop. At the right side, that is TSA A, the box that is open. And other side is TSA B. In the front cover, there is a green light indicator. And then if B, if B go on, that is not the TVC one. That's a different angle. I think it's 45 degrees. Yeah. That, that is for the B side? Or it's the it's yeah, for the encoder B? Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just ah, okay. yeah. ah, this Again for the B when TSA B lights up the green indicator it means 45 degrees this one i have question again for this one when we put when we disconnect this one the light will go out uh, yeah. because you first time when we before we this uh disassemble the light is coming up right 
And then, when we pull this one, the light is not it's off. off. But, if we put it again, and misalign, the light is not coming out. It's because, yeah, it's very easy for you. You can unplug it, because it's a plug. So if you do like that, you can work with it. But if it's uh, with a cable, you must go out and then pull the J1 power plug on ECU A. So, you know, because others you make a shortcut down here. After changing the encoder, you need to fine tune or calibrate this system in the MOP or HMI. Maintenance, go to maintenance and function test. It has a procedure and instruction. Just follow. Just mechanical, I guess. Automatic, this is A and B. Yes, you see, turn in it's two degree before TDC as cylinder one. Reboot CCUs and ECUs. Turn the head in a head direction. Right? And so it tells you everything you need to do. When this is done, then you're ready to start the engine. Then you start the engine, and then you run up the engine more than 50% engine load. Let's see, perform PMI zero diagram. Then you have on the maintenance. See. Perform TDC calibration, yeah. Uh, run this side. Then it tells you all the things you need to do. Yeah? See, up to 90, remember, remember. But then you, when the engine is running, you see now. You cannot do that because the engine is not it's running. Not, uh, but then you just click next and dum dum dum, then everything goes through here. You see the four steps. You know? When that is done, then later on, you go here and view configuration parameters for ECS. Open. And then it, you take these values, yeah. No. And they need to be keyed into the ECS. They need to have these crank angles. Because you can see, it's not possible to mechanically adjust the encoder so precise. Yeah. But you need to... How, how can you put it in? And they need to be keyed into the ECS. They need to have these crank angles. As you can see, it's not 
possible to mechanically adjust the encoder so precise. Yeah, but you need to. How how can you put it in a zero diagram? Let's say minimum speed required for Delta Tag B is we have to run the engine more than 11 degrees. Then you uh, then you get this data valid, and then this. Uh, there's a type of B, that's the difference between encoder A and B. The system needs to know that. Then you, uh, then it, the value will come up here, and you just have to click OK. Come to that. I'm not sure you can do it. Okay. Then it comes up with a value, yeah? It has to be more than that, and then you say OK, and then you say there's a back. B measure value is between set minus one and three. Oh, okay. That is the inner trick box that I hit. This one is here. Set a hit. That value you need to key in. Thanks for watching Barco TV for replacing Angle Encoder and don't forget to subscribe our channel.